Qatar's cabinet has announced new restrictions as the country battles against a soaring number of daily COVID cases. Meanwhile, people are demanding authorities step in and monitor the prices of rapid antigen tests as some pharmacies take advantage of a PCR testing crisis. In international news, Qatari Twitter has been celebrating the victory of a Palestinian hunger striker. Keep watching for the full story. And in sports, Turkish football giants Besiktas play Antalya Spor in the Turkish Super Cup final being hosted here in Doha. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Government ministers in Qatar have announced new COVID restrictions following their weekly meeting on Wednesday. The new rules go into effect this coming Saturday. Starting January 8th, only fully vaccinated people will be allowed to enter malls, while all gyms are now limited to 50% capacity with jacuzzis, steam rooms and changing rooms having to shut. Children under 12 won't be allowed to go to the mosque while these restrictions are in place. And only vaccinated people will be allowed to use barber shops and hair salons. For the full details, head over to the Doha News website. Meanwhile, in light of the PCR testing crisis facing Qatar, more and more people have been depending on home testing using rapid antigen test kits. However, it seems some pharmacies are seeking to exploit the high demand for antigen tests, with the price of kits rising from 30 rials up to 100 rials at some outlets. The public have demanded authorities take action to stop the exploitation and legally cap prices at a reasonable rate. Hisham Abu Hawash, that is the name of the 40-year-old father of five who was illegally jailed by Israel with no charges against him. Abu Hawash decided to fight for his freedom and started a hunger strike 141 days ago. His protest gained regional and international attention and the support he gained caused enough pressure to force Israel to release him. Qatari Twitter has been celebrating his release with a hashtag in his name trending since Tuesday. And finally, it's another cup final day here in Qatar as Ahmed bin Ali Stadium hosts Turkish giants Besiktas who will be taking on Antalya Spor. The match pits last year's Turkish league champions against cup runners-up in what is anticipated to be a high-octane clash. It's the latest opportunity for Qatar to cement its position as a major regional sports hub. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.